sweet. Well, I think the wooden dash isn't going to work. The gauges that, uh, not the gauges, the switches. This one's junk and this one don't work. And we did all that work to get them suckers to fit. I'm going to end up putting uh, real GM switches in there for um, headlight and probably wiper. Not that I have a wiper, but I'm going to need one for it to be legal, I guess. i got one, two, three, four bolts to pull out. And then I can pull the wood out. Maybe we'll make it stainless and do that uh, knurled effect. show you a video on uh, YouTube, a couple of kids doing it. At the junkyard there's this old international bus truck. Um, talked to the owner and I took the whole dash control thing out of it. A bunch of cool uh, old switches and pull knobs and fan switch. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff in the Jeep. I already got it out. I'll show you. There's a big console piece right there. All the bells and whistles. I got a bunch of free fuses too. But the bus has seen better days. It'll be in the crusher before you know it. So we'll save what we can. Okay, there's that little dash panel. There's one I like. There's a, what do you call it, a uh, blah, 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 variable resistor. 12 volt right there. And on the other side, it's the fan switch. Um, it's got some heavy duty fan switch, three position. Got a lot of the old light bulbs, if you remember these. Put the socket in, the light just plugs in. A lot of those switches, I wondered where I got them. It was probably, that old one I have on the dash already, it was probably a school bus. But um, there's got to be 20 of them on here. Rheostat's 12 volt, Mexico. That's a big wiper switch. I don't know what it goes to. We'll find out. But uh, I'm going to pull a bunch of these off and mess with them, see what we can do. Alright, that's an old bus control. Look at that thing. With the old pull switch, I got a dozen of them now. Washer wiper. Three speed heater. I might need that because the one I have. Probably uh, real old. These are actually right here. These are light bulbs to light up the dash. Look at old diamond, diamond glass light. I'm gonna take these off later. Well, today was a junkyard day. That's what I felt like. This is what remains of that panel. All the switches are off it. See ya. Um. We got some really cool lights. Ambers, maybe these would be better than the ones I have. This is how a light bulb should be changed. You put that in the dash and these things just pop out. How easy is that? Done. Momentary button. Now these are all made by Bluebird. Bluebird, I'm pretty sure, was the school bus uh, manufacturer. The reds, look at that big one. Same thing, they just pop out the back. Single element. Um, rheostats. A nice big one, fan speed control. A lot of nice connectors if I want to use connectors. A uh, big connector to a wiper switch. Um, those dash lights. And I have, they're all right here if you can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are Bluebird. Bluebird. Uh, two position and one position. They're a little rusty though. We're gonna just put some oil on them But they're not burnt up. These were built heavy duty for a school bus But these are identical To that one on my dash if you remember So that's pretty cool. I got a ton of them. I could put a whole row or I could put none or I could hide them under the dash Uh, I'm having fun taking this stuff apart and playing with a couple of them. 
See, this is a this is a two position. Get your power in, and then whatever lead you want. But they have nice thick, a uh, lot of threads on them too. There's got to be a half inch in threads there, if not more. So you could mount them in something up to probably a quarter of an inch thick or so, or just a layer of sheet metal. I like these connectors. These are only three pin though. Could be used for something like a lane if you had to remove it or whatever. Alright, so it was a junkyard day. All goodies. I got my GM headlight switch to replace that piece of crap that I think I threw the thing. I was so mad at it, I whipped it. It's here somewhere. Um, I also had the aluminum collar that holds this in somewhere. Yeah, it's here somewhere. I got a mask on right now. Oh. So electrical goodies for today. I think I just dropped one. Ugh. Just messing around. Don't let it go. I don't know why that's here, but it is. There it is. Uh, my dash is a quarter inch thick, so this is the one that goes in front of the GM. And there's plenty of meat there. So I'm going to use an original GM headlight switch. This one's no good. I cannot get the shaft out. And yes, I press the button. It does not want to come out. I think it's rusted inside. I also noticed the elements all twisted. I'm going to see if Don has one of these. But I do have the plug for it. So that was a bonus. Again, it's here somewhere. I have a switch from another one. Pretty plain Jane. What did I do with the plug? I was just looking at it. Unless you put something down, you can't find it. Oh, this was a um, three-position fan switch with uh, an off position. It really had four positions. That was right. Hmm. One, two, three off. Whether the resistors are built into it, I don't know. They could have been built onto the fan because it doesn't look like... Uh, you never know. Could be. Okay, having fun. We'll do some more. I was going to use the... Um, this is a factory GM headlight switch. And I was going to use this. This one's broke. The, the thing won't come out no matter how much you press the button. I think I'm going to use one of these. Did a little inventory. I have seven of the single pull on or off. And I have three extra of the double pulls. See three wires. Not counting. Two I have already that are double. This one's already wired. That's a headlight switch, and it works. See? Headlights, parking lights. Parking lights. And uh, I was comparing this to the one that I had in there. These are these are three times beefier than the ones that I had. So we're using those. This is my headlight switch. Low beam. Not low beam, high beam, but that's my headlight switch off and on. Um, this one I'm not sure. Wipers, uh, something else. But I want to fill a hole on the right side of the dash, of which I am. I have taken the dash out, and uh, me and Dad have been redesigning it because those old switches, half of them didn't work, and one of them wouldn't pull in and out. So we're gonna have three, maybe four, five matching switches, and then have plenty of extras. Holy crap. So it's a good thing. Oh crap, there's another one. <laughs> Here's another double. So I have four extra headlight switches and seven extra single pull switches. Not counting the rear stat, which could be a fan speed control. And the cool lights. I might use these amber lights instead of those little LEDs just because these are old. And that's how it is. The big one? Nah. Yeah. These are all faded. But the amber ones? Yeah, I like those. So we'll incorporate them into the new dash I'll show you. The button, eh. Don't need any more buttons. <clears throat> Just shut my meter off. <sighs> Look at that. Now, now that you can see it, everything's in a harness. Or in a loom. Including the new switch. Which, the power lead goes to the fuse block. And then the two wires for, go oh, right here. Having fun.
Moving right along, hey, that old uh, switch that was on my heater block, nice knob too, uh, junk. So what I did is I put one of those matching two position switches. Three leads, power in, you know, like uh, could be low fan, high fan, that's all we need. Three wires coming out, of course, red is power. But uh, I got it all tied in there, got a wire tie holding the wire so it doesn't rub on anything. And everything's taped up and shrink tubed and you name it. I don't mind it's not a knob, not a big deal. Nothing cool. That goes right there under that switch. So I'll put that back on. I think I gotta drill a hole to put it on too, but we'll see. I'm uh, messing with those old lights. I like that crystal one, it's too big though. And uh I'm thinking, you know, they got these nice long stringers on the wire and they're all pre-wired and everything and they're uh the outside is the ground, the inside is the lead, but they still put a lead on it, I noticed. On the little ones anyway, not the big one. Here's the little one. See, the lead is the ground, and it still has the ground connected. So here's your positive, right? And I hooked up the amber ones. Here's my left directional. I have to make it blink because it still isn't a load. And there's the right. You can see it on the car, too. My flasher's in line, but it's not clicking because there isn't enough drag of the lights. I gotta get a I keep saying I gotta get an electronic one that'll uh, blink at its own rate, not wait for a bimetallic strip to heat up and then click. I left it on for ten minutes and never and never blinked. And the power runs through here, so both lights have power through the flasher. I left it on for ten minutes and never blinked. Probably needs a load of like six or eight bulbs for it to blink, but I'm still playing. I got my battery charger going. I always keep the thing charged. Not even a flicker. Nothing. Oh well. well I'm kind of messing around. I got the uh gas pedal in there see it's mounted two bolts one there one there it's not the right um, I think bolt because my firewall can go on after here's a bracket I have I figured I could use it here for the throttle but it's got to be over another half an inch so I'm gonna have to make another longer one probably something thinner but that will connect to my lever and then the cables right here goes into there and you route your cable and good to go uh, oh yeah, I thought it was me. That yellow flasher, I think I threw it out. That friggin' thing would not work. So let's turn my ignition on here. Went over Dawn's house. Got another flasher. So there's left directional. Works good, right directional. And this one has the double, so... Parking hazards. And let's see if they're working up here. Ooh. Pretty cool. And they're self canceling. Kinda. But, uh, I'm just getting away from wiring for a little bit. I'm messing with the throttle. There's a bracket I gotta remake. Um, the Allison. The Allison is bolted right there. I needed a place to put it. And there it is, right under the dash. It's got its own little bracket. I have to run the wires for the Allison. Of course, more electrical. Uh, probably out the side here and up to the connector. Now the ice, the leads for the photo cell are horrible. I forget what they call these three pin connectors, but they're they're terrible. So I'm gonna use something else. I think I might use one of those light plugs. I got this morning. Like that. For the Allison. I'll mess with that too. I got extra fuses. There are all kinds of goodies. But I'm still at it. I know you don't want to look at that anymore, do you? I didn't want 100 videos of wiring, but there's going to be at least six because <laughs> it never ends. Just when you think you're done, you go, oh crap, i got to put the ignition switch in. 
I gotta put this. Go oh, wait a minute. We gotta do the alternator. That's not even connected. It's just sitting there. Coil's kind of connected. Two wires on it. There's another one. I gotta look up the Allison and find out how to wire it. I did have it wired before in a previous video, but I don't remember where that blue wire went to. Not blue wire. It's, it's a purple wire. See a purple wire? But that's that's just cool in itself. So it wasn't my wiring, it was that stupid uh, yellow flasher I picked up that said Motocraft on it. I must have thrown it out. It's usually what I do. If something goes bad, it's in the woods on the barrel. Okay, what to do. Does it work? You don't got to force it high, go ahead. You can pop it. There's nothing in it. All right, let it go. Need a little more spring tension. A little more. Well, it's not too bad. Cool. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> One more step, kid. Let's keep rolling. What about jumping around? Me and Tyler cut off the excess air tank. So there's my full link. I had made uh, new caps for the tubes. And we're already having fun. Right, Tyler? I don't know. I'm going to grind that off eventually. Well, we pushed it out. We cleaned the floor. Huh? We put all the tools away. Somewhat. Well, we're going to cut the other side right now. There's the mark, and it's coming off. Tyler just went in. He helped me out. Both of the wings are cut. The pieces are sitting in there waiting to be welded for the new end caps. Excuse me. Um, did a lot today. Quite a bit. Now, I've had this for a while. I love the Jaguar emblem. I thought it would be cool right here. What do you think? So, give me a yes or a no. What do you think? This one's in really nice shape. It got off uh, late. Oh, late 80s. Car went to the junkyard. Had to have it. I like the Jaguar. Or we get an Eagle for the hood. Keep it Chevy. It's not a Jaguar. You're right. We'll keep it Chevy. I gotta do something with that. I'm gonna put the air ride back in. I gotta make a fuel line. I gotta make the gas tank. We're going to make the air tanks on the side work. Um, we need an air compressor. Even a little one. It only needs um, it only needs to make 20 pounds to pick the car up. 20 pounds and, and bang, this whole engine goes up in the air. But uh, oh, I did. I took the uh, full link out up here. And I spun about six turns. And I measured it front to rear like 10 times. So my rear end's back in place where it belongs. Um, I'm just going to put the airbags back in. But to do that, you have to have access to the top. And you can't with the floor pan there. So I might be unbolting this and raising up the back end and messing with it. And, you know, it never ends. I mean, my brake lines are like 90% done. Um, we'll be measuring for a drive shaft pretty soon. From there to there. I have a drive shaft somewhere, but it's from Monte Carlo. I highly, well, it might fit in the 400, but it ain't going to bolt up to the Ford. There's a special adapter you can buy. But um, I'm liking the bus lights from earlier today. These are pretty cool. They're huge. I'm liking that new headlight switch because everything matches now. We've got one, two, three. We're going to have four of them on the dash. Um, that's about it. 
Got my wife's car on the charger because it's been sitting all winter. Let me clean the floor except for the recent mess, which is right here. From all the grinding. But those have to be tapped to a uh, quarter MPT. For a couple air fittings this will probably be the rear and the other side will be the front um, probably a little air compressor here a little air compressor there I don't know yet I'm um, gonna figure out where to put my gas tank I was thinking a boat tank a curved uh, aluminum boat tank to go right here on the inside of the tub but we're nowhere near that right now I can always stick a little gas can here and turn it over once my exhaust is done but Moving right along, I had to bend that back a little bit. Um, this is a temporary bracket. Well, we'll see, you know. I might be able to move this inside. But I left my firewall off because I want to get all the plumbing and everything done and then go, okay, this is where I need a hole, this is where I need a hole, and then just make it, you know, whether it be aluminum or whatever. I've got one right there that's metal, which is actually a good pattern, but it's kind of screwed up on the bottom corner. But uh, I'm rambling on, and it's time to go in. That's my cool radiator. I hope that radiator is good, man. I'm gonna wire that fan too. Never, never, never ends. One day it'll be done, and I'll be bored. I'll have nothing to do. You'll have nothing to do. You might have to get that other '33 Chevy truck, huh? Cam bumper. I love that idea. You know what? The Model A bumpers. I gave up on it. I don't like them. I like the uh, single bumper in the front, and it's legal. Everything works. Let's try those hazard lights. Put my keys on. It may look uh, yellow, uh, white. It's amber. You don't see that going down the road. You're freaking blind. You are blind. Is that right? With our school bus light blinking. Is our left? With our school bus light blinking. Say that again. School bus light blinking. What happens when you put hazards on? Cool. Okay, girls and boys. Been a great day. Got a lot done. I'm going in. Have a good night. Little garage walk around. Sorry I don't have any lights on right now. <laughs>